the opening on Wall Street just a few moments away. So we've got a few Yahoo Finance trending tickers to share with you. First up, avocados, my friends. I didn't even know this company was public and they existed until my good friend Brian Sazi pointed it out today. Shares of Mission Produce slumping by 15% after numbers missed estimates in the latest quarter. Revenue was flat year over year as the rise in avocado volume sold was not enough to offset a plunge in prices. And I got to tell you, Brian Sazi, I was very excited to talk about this today. We eat a lot of avocados in my house. I would say like we can easily go through half a dozen avocados in a week. In so you just the, eat them? You scoop them out? Are you just eating them? Just like, like put them with everything. Salad. Everything. Like my gotcha. son had a half avocado with his dinner last night. Have like, you been tracking prices though? They've been going down. Going they have down. been slumping during the pandemic. Avocados got really expensive. You were paying like three or four dollars for a single so you avocado. You could have broke this news a month ago. Now, now I've I've been I've been quietly tracking it to myself. <laughs> now you can easily get an avocado for a buck fifty, right? Mm-hmm. Like they have really come I, back down. I think we've reached peak avocado, Julie. I mean, you're looking at the explanation. You read the earnings release for this company. Bottom line is, is too many avocados in the market, and prices are, are starting to come down. Now, who this is good for? It's Chipotle. Mm. Uh, I remember a couple years ago when avocado prices went through the roof. This was pre-pandemic, and it really hammered uh, Chipotle because obviously they buy a lot of avocados for their amazing guacamole that you have to pay extra for uh, inside their business. Uh, So to see these prices coming down, I would not be shocked to hear uh, Chipotle, when they report earnings in a couple months, really see a nice benefit from these punching prices. It would be nice if we could pay less for guacamole. At a Chipotle, but they're not going to go uh, they're, not, they're, not cutting, no, they're, no, no, they're no. not cutting the prices. We all know it's extra. If you want yes. that, it is. And you know what? It should be extra because it's an amazing thing. It's amazing. It should be extra, but should they be making that extra margin have, all to themselves? They will. I Shareholders will like it, I'm sure. Um, so interesting here. The mission is saying the overall Mexican crop is expected to be 20% higher compared to the prior harvest season, but early season volumes are down because of the lack of pricing. So I guess there's just not as much motivation to grow as many avocados. Average avocado selling price down by 10% in the quarter. And as we showed earlier, 6% increase in avocado volume sold. Uh, one analyst who co- at Stevens who covers the stock says there is a longer term path to achieve margin recovery, but we can see that it might take longer than originally expected. So just like we're seeing normalization in a bunch of markets, I guess the avocado market is seeing normalization as well. I have five seconds left here, Julie. Do you Uh pick the avocado out one by one or do you buy the bag like we were showing in the photos? Whenever I buy the bag, I regret buying the bag. Me too. Because like inevitably you end up with one that is not great. So I do the I do the single pick. Now, I definitely do. Are you a big avocado consumer? I am. I I buy them one by one. I I think the avocados in the bag just are too small. That is also true. Yeah. Yeah. That's the news you can use.